Hello and welcome. Okay, um, I will be trying from today, the 4th of September, something new to improve my Japanese. I do not know if I'll be doing it just in Japanese or just English or maybe my own language. But for now, let's try it. Just try and then we'll see. So, I've been studying Japanese now for quite a while. Um, different ways, none of the ways paid off or even remotely made me want to study more. So, but right now I'm doing some Renshu on the internet and I've been quite good at it for a while. Good as in I've done it every day, about 300 words each day. Um, I was also beginning to watch some animes in just Japanese and some TV series in just Japanese. Uh, but what I think might improve my Japanese the most would be reading because you have to read the kanjis, you have to understand the words and you get to repeat it. But if you don't say it out loud, it doesn't really matter that much. So I've been thinking of doing a video of me reading first in Japanese a chapter, not a chapter, I'm sorry, a um, segment and then in English the original. Now my Kindle is just now being loaded up. We'll see if it if I can turn it on by the time I finish reading the Japanese paragraph and then we'll see what we do from then on. Okay, so the book that I'm having is this one. So in English it's called The Bright, Bright uh, from Julian Garwood. Julie Garwood. So in Japanese they translated that the title is quite long as you can see. This all is the title. So this the last two is Hanayome, which means bright. This is Tayo ni misereta uh, Hanayome. So basically it means the bright that has been enchanted by the sun. Okay, so this is sun, this is enchanted, and this is bright. So it's an original book. See, it's in Japanese. I'm not cheating. Everything is in Japanese. I bought it online, just so, because I love this book. So I've read it a few times. There shouldn't be that much difficulties in understanding it. Um, and I love the book, so there should be an incentive to want to read We'll see how long that lasts because I've spent half an hour for one paragraph, which is not that long. As you can see, it's only this part here. I spent 30 minutes on that. It will get easier after a while, but well, let's not curse it. And let's just start, I guess it would be the best. I'll be looking down a little. Maybe after a while I'll start also typing so you can read along or stuff like that. I hope there is no problem with copyrights if I type a paragraph, but uh, let's not worry about that right now since this is just for me and well I don't think anybody will look at it so let's just start. Okay, this is really strange but okay I'll start. Juliet, Juri Garvudo Tayo ni misereta hanayome Purorogu Tsuya ga owatta Tsui ni areku kinkeido no tsuma ga mai so sareru Koryo to shita One zutai ni hirogaru bochi ni atsumata kuranu no monotachi no hyojo wa Zuchou no sora moyo to doyo ni omokurushi. Helena Ruizu Kinkeido ga homorare runo wa fujo no chida. Kyoryoku na 
chifu tan no tsuma de aru kanojo wa mizu kara inochi o tatta. Sono tame keiken na kurisu chian no bochi no soto ni umerareru. Kyokai wa daizai o okashita mono o shinsei na chi ni homo Homuru no o kinji teiru. Kare ra no kenkai de wa tsumi bukai tamashi wa kusata ringo to onaji. Kusata tamashi ga kiyora na Gomen na sai. Kusata tamashi ga kiyora naka tamashi o yogosu o sore ga aru kara ni wa isho ni Gomen na sai. Gomen na sai. Chuto. Ha. Gomen. Isho ni mai so shite wa ikenai toyu wakeda. Okay, so that was the Japanese. Um, the places where I stopped um, for a longer time or apologized because I am living in Japan right now. So I've gotten, I've gotten into a habit of apologizing a lot more than I did before. Well, anyway, it was because I don't have the furigana written by every word, but just by the first time I saw the word. So if the word repeats and I don't know it, I kind of have to go back and find it. But that is more for me to, to write and stimulate my mind. So I'm not going to write it right now. Um, I've also written all the words in Turenshu, so I'm building a vocabulary over there as well. I made that public. It's called The Bride. Um, and that is that. So now I'll try to power up my Kindle. Just a second. I have to disconnect it from the power source. Voila. Um, it's still not working. Okay. Alrighty. So, how about if I plug it in and try to turn it on? It also unplug, hold the power switch for 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it doesn't work at all. Um, okay, this doesn't work. Let's see if I can do it in a different way. I have the book also here but have to find it I should probably pause the video just a second can I pause this I don't find any controls that says pause okay I want to pause because this is right now just for me I'll probably do it one more time again for the others uh, books Julie Garwood The Bride um, it's in the wrong format this is perfect okay, let's try it like this let's add and open alrighty the book is opening up luckily you always have the book in two different formats Okay, so this is Julie Garwood. The, uh -huh, it slided. I do not understand. Ah, here. Um, the bride, the bride, the pro. Ah, here. Okay, Scotland. The death watch was over. 
Ellen Kincaid's woman was finally being laid to rest. The weather was foul, as foul as the expressions on the faces of those few clan members gathered around the burial site atop the dark, the stark ridge. It was unholy ground Helena Louise Kincaid was being placed in. For the new bride of the mighty clan Schiff, Schiffley, had taken her own life and was therefore doomed to a resting place outside the true Christian cemetery. The church wouldn't allow a body with a sure mortal sin to reside inside the blessed ground. A black soul was like a bad apple, the church leaders supposed, and the thought of one rotten soul staining the pure ones was far too grave a possibility to ignore. Okay, that's the English version of it. Like I said, this is the first draft. I am tempted to put it online just to see the reaction, but I'll see. So, that would be all for me. Um, and see you soon. Bye.